The skeletal remains are literally just um, coming out of the uh, earth. 174 exposed bones were recovered from Hart Island Cemetery yesterday. It's a giant potter's field east of the Bronx where the East River meets Long Island Sound. More than a million unclaimed New Yorkers with no family or money, even infants, are buried. But years of storms are eroding the island shores, unearthing graves. Entire skeletons are um, sort of falling out of the hill onto the beach, and then they're washed away with the tide. Melinda Hunt has been monitoring the situation since the 90s, demanding the Department of Corrections, which runs the island, to do something. They know that it's happening because I learned about it from the correction officers who referred to this area as Bones Beach. Hart Island is only open to visitors by appointment months in advance. So last week, Hunt and a photographer captured these pictures from a boat of skeletons scattered amongst the rocks. Suddenly, this week, officials fast-tracked the process. Our Chopper 2 video shows these red flags marking spots archaeologists have found human remains. Once identified, the remains will be reburied by Rikers Island prisoners. Why in the world would an agency that's managing our jails have anything to do with this island? Levine wants to transfer control of the island to the Parks Department so that families could freely visit graves of loved ones without an armed guard. And it's simply wrong that people who were neglected in life, who were marginalized in life in the city, are now getting the same treatment in this burial ground. Late today, corrections told me they'll begin monthly inspections and will also fast track reconstruction of the shoreline to stabilize the graves. Looking at Hart Island, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, gave the city $13 million to use toward the repair at Hart Island. Those repairs are expected to start next year.